What is happening, guys? Cowboy here. Let's go get ready for a showdown. We're almost at the Earth Pulse Point. You all know the plan, right? I'm using you as a hostage to keep Oscar from doing anything stupid. And don't you try anything funny either. Some time place to go. Isn't one of them like done on the garments? The only one that's that one. Uh I don't know. sure, sure. Not buddy. There's the other chest after the battle. I don't think we have a chance! Nice little warm-up battle. Here's the chest. Agree. She done the noggin? All right, Oscar. Let's do it, buddy. I knew you'd come, Velvet. Sister! As plain as day. Now put down your sword and let go of my fairy. If you don't, I'll kill her. You coward! I'm sorry to do this, Oscar! I'm searching for the truth behind the Abbey's talk of so-called reason. And your idea of reason is to threaten my dear sister's life? <sighs> I'm sorry, Oscar. I've become nothing but a burden. Teresa, no. It's not like that. All right. I'll put down my arms. <clears throat> Teresa, get back! Nice! For 
Give me, Oscar. This is the only way I can protect you. Dude, just we like, kept Bunk. our end of the bargain. Take him and get out of here. I can't do that. It will reflect poorly upon him. Lady Teresa? Have you forgotten? You're just a powerless human. You're right. I am a weak, worthless human. But he has shown me the light, and it shines. My body is receptive to Inominat's power. And with it, I can protect everything I care about. She just became the Therian? What the fuck, dude? She turned into a Therian? No, she fused with it. I'll kill you all. Anything to protect Oscar. You dumb bitch. <sighs> Weak to martial arts and resist. Oh wow, well, martial arts are just gonna fuck her up. It's her weakness. And she's Emerging weak to pure physical. Therian. Do you realize what you're doing, Teresa? <laughs> <laughs> A trivial sacrifice. The trivial bitch, you're done for. Isn't there like a um friend and foe? That's interesting. Alright team, just fucking go hard as hell on her. Martial arts beat her ass. Deep to physical arts? Let's see how well fighting a team full of people that are just physical arts spamming you works out for you. There's no turning back. No, oh, no, I'm sorry. You you're getting fucking shrecked right now. Just to make it that much more redonkulous and chugging along soul bottles too. Honestly, the soul bottles were probably a bit overkill. <laughs> what is, uh, just something curious. What are we at? She's level 48, and we're all... I don't know what level we are. Try to check out this battle, but... Oh, wow, she actually got a double down there at the end. Not that it matters. I can't lose. Not here. L Lady Teresa. Stand down, or I'll devour you piece by piece. <laughs> Am I going to fight both of them at once? Now that would be a battle. It's okay, sister. You've done enough. No, don't look at me. I'm so hideous. When I was growing up, the only one my mother and father ever paid any attention to was my older brother, the heir. But you, Teresa, you noticed me when they didn't. You looked after me, supported me, smiled for me. I could never thank you enough, my sister. <laughs> Oscar. What's up with her hands, though? Now, 
Keep watching over me, Teresa. As long as you're looking after me, I can vanquish even the Lord of Demons. Take a good look. This is armatization. Failed Oscar. Sixty-one thousand uh, resistant to some stuff. What's happened to him? He merged with his mother. That's one hell of an art. You don't have all the physical resistances that, or all the uh, elemental resistances that Teresa had. I need these soul bottle. I'm like, I haven't used these at all. And now I'm just like, these things are like candy. This looks pretty over. Looks like you're being chain juggled, so it looks like. Cool and all, but uh, fuck you. Oscar, you're dead. Stop. Oscar, stop! This has gone far enough! No, it hasn't. You people hurt my sister. He's losing control of the mall. Oh, damn it. It's turning into a dragon. Velvet, quick! Devour that thing! Stop! He's still... Is like, she like freaked out for a split second. What's wrong with her? Why is Velvet gasping and all crazy? You. Oh, just her. Killed him. No, I. He was a good kid. He gave me this pair of earrings for my birthday. 
They're family heirlooms that were supposed to go to his fiance. But he didn't know that at the time. I told him he should give them to the woman he cares most about in the world. And you know what he did? He smiled at me and said I was that woman. So sweet. So innocent. And you took him away! You killed my Oscar! How could you? How could you? How could you? I mean, it just looks like she hit them each once. Did that really You're kill them? So hurt. I'll get you all fixed up. Don't cry, Oscar. You're strong. You're so strong. So what about, what about the Therian? Is the Therian like? Did I just eat the Therian? Or did they fuse into it? Oh god. Oh no, she's absorbing. Teresa. Oscar. <sighs> and we didn't even get the Therian we came for. He. Oscar came at him first. I had to. It was for Luffy. For my little brother. I serve a time, plundering ghost, hex a strike. Lots of mastery coming in. Maximum level can go to nine. Just dead. I killed them. I'm the same as Artorias. I killed her brother before her very eyes. It's not the same. It is the same! But I didn't have any choice! It was the only way to avenge you! It was all for you! I did it for you! There's nowhere left to run. Nowhere for you or for me. You all right? I ate too much. That's all. They... They were close. They supported each other ever since they were children. I just did to them what they were going to do to us. And who will killing them save? The soul of my murdered brother. <gasps> oh. Whatever the case, we messed up the Therian part of the plan. They're probably making a new one as we speak. There's no time to waste. Let's go back to the port and start our search. Yeah. Well. Oh. 
That was a. Uh... Had to do it. All of it. Velvet. Anticlimactic. Bird. I mean, I don't blame Velvet. You know? Like, fact is, Oscar got super try hard. Like, I'm gonna rush you! Which is, you know, it's. Sucks, because it was the plan was his sister's idea. Like, I'll be your hostage. I'll just hand over the the thing. Then she decided to fuse herself with it. I had to beat her ass. Then Hask had to get all butt hurt. Then he had to rush me, so I had to take him out. But still, that claw didn't look like it killed. Like, I mean, as big as that thing is, I could definitely see like a blow from it. Potentially being lethal. Maybe they just toned, toned it back a little bit. Maybe it was, it was actually supposed to be a shitload of blood like flying out of his back, but for the sake of like preserving a T rating or something. Let's leave it up to our imagination. Just like scooping past basic bitch enemies. I never expected that Velvet would actually eat Teresa. What else could she do? We never expected that Teresa would be a Therian either. Velvet and Lady Teresa weren't so different. They both loved their brothers. Not everyone loves their brothers. Some just want them dead. <sighs> so where does this leave us? It seems we must search for the new Therian that will fill the void left by Teresa. It won't be easy to find another who could become a Therian. Hmm. Then it won't be easy for the Abbey either. And they still may not be able to awaken in Ominat. We still can't assume that we're in the clear, though. No, we can't. If it takes time for the Therian to be reborn, this could be our chance to strike. Whatever happened, the seven Therian's ties have been severed from Inominat. But we won't know if the Empyrean has been weakened until we find out for ourselves. I can try and see if I can sense the new Therian. So let's go back to the prison island first. But I think... Velvet needs time to rest. Right. If we're gonna take down Artorius, she has to be there with us. Yeah. Well, fucking obviously, the reason we started this journey, I'm pretty sure if somebody killed Artorias before Velvet, she would fucking bat shit with more than that. Herman Suit. First mate, there's trouble. We got an emergency message from Port Zexen. A ship carrying dozens of exorcists just set sail for Titania. They have orders to eliminate the Lord of Calamity. Yeesh. Looks like the hideout's not so hidden after all. It wasn't me! I didn't tell them anything! Then you won't have any problem helping us. We're rescuing the Therians. Of course not! I won't let them take Kamoana again. Wait. That information came from the Bloodwings? No, from a peddler I often do business with. Exorcist operations like this are usually kept a closely guarded secret. And you're telling me a regular civilian knew about it? You think it's a trap? Trap or not, we don't have a choice. Our enemies know the odds. If they've set a trap for us, that means they think they can win. The Armatus! Yes, they're likely to throw armatized exorcists at us. Even your demon arm can't eat Armati. You might just have a real problem on your hands. 
If I can't devour them, then we kill them. Yeah, if we overcome the Armadi, we can win. Like with Oscar. But his Armatus was still incomplete. From what I could gather, if the Exorcist remains armatized for too long, their Moloch will turn into a dragon. But to prevent these dragons from running wild, Melchior embedded a self-destruction art in both Exorcist and Moloch. To think they would go that far. Oh. This is all just conjecture, of course, but we should prepare ourselves as best we can. Just make sure not to leave any regrets behind. up with little bm Fu showing up for like a split second there. Weird. Oh, there's a word please. Alright, well let's wrap up here because we're going to be heading back to Titania for what's probably going to be a huge battle. So we'll close on out and we'll see you guys tomorrow with more Tales of Berseria.